It's a new day and we are heading to the sea, S-E-A-A, Southeast Asian Aquarium and the Maritime Experimental, Experimental Museum. Okay, so we're visiting the Maritime Museum first. These four guys represent the, the treaty for the Maritime Silk Road, I think. That's what I heard. This is what, their pottery and their clothing from back then. Wow, we've got some projections here going on. It's really well designed. Is this an actual book? It is an actual book. It's not a prop, it's a real book. Feels like we're in the headquarters of some central intelligence. Wow, it is. It is. Okay, we came from there. That was the front facing thing, but there's an actual full boat in front of me. It's massive. What? That's the toilet. It's going to be shaking non stop, right? Then, so where does the waste go to? There's a hole at the bottom? There's a hole at the bottom. So there's a chance they will go through also. They will, they will hold on to the ropes and everything, you see. Hey Danny, how's my voice? Deeper today or what? Is my voice deeper? A bit. <laughs> Sore throat. All the shouting yesterday. <laughs> oh my god. No, definitely email it. The email came instantly. Yeah, it's so fast. Is this what the market looks like? Yes, the oh. I'm waiting for like Aladdin to jump somewhere. <laughs> the funny thing is he actually looks like a Arabian guy selling like dates or spices. Fai is feeling at home, huh? Feeling at home? Dennis, I got something to show you. You're not gonna expect it. I found a camel toe. <laughs> now we're gonna enter the the <laughs> bigger boat. It says pirate encounter. Oh, so there's gonna be a simulation of a pirate fight and also fire. We're going down the staircase. Ah. <laughs> Hasn't stopped yet. Okay, we just exited the place and I think we're immediately entering the aquarium. Okay, so we just... S-E-A-A, -A, Southeast Asian Aquarium. Wow, we're in the Southeast Asian Aquarium. Right, so we just entered the aquarium and... I took some notes about this place. It houses more than 100,000 marine animals. Uh, representing 1,000 species. They collaborate with local and regional partners in marine conservation efforts. So the centerpiece is obviously this thing that I'm walking through. It's the open ocean habitat. It is so, so amazing to be able to safely see a shark coming towards you. I have at least heard 10 people singing baby shark so far. Guys, we made a big mistake. So, I thought that was big, but this is bigger. But there's an even bigger one, the one that I mentioned in the video, the 36 meter long and 8 meter tall. Okay, so it's afterwards. Is, yeah. So, this is a, a shipwreck kind of environment. And they let the, the marine animals just thrive in there, you know, just do whatever they want. <laughs> Oh, wow. What's that? Huh? What's that? That one? Yeah. Shark lah. Shark. Uh, ray shark. Ray shark? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not making this up. It's ray shark. Yeah. This one is a uh, unicorn shark. Damn, that ray is massive, man. So we got a human for scale. Just look at his size and the size of the... Is he doing some vape tricks? Yeah, he's showing off. Very cool, are you? How do you? <laughs> he just there. <laughs> Somehow, all the fish started gathering. Wow, they're all really coming. Whoa. We're in the tunnel now. 
It's not as long as the one in KL, but it is much wider and more comfortable. Just a short one, but still is quite immersive and worth, definitely worth going through. It's a massive cylindrical shape aquarium. I think there are some people cleaning it inside there. They keep the aquariums here clean and maintained very well. Okay, we are finally heading to the, the big viewing area. Oh my god. That is massive. There's no way to put it into scale unless you're here. It is so big. Looks really like a spaceship, man. There's a tuna fish as well, and it was swimming quite fast just now. Look at them playing together. Look at how big the mouth is. Okay, now we're gonna go see the dolphins. I'm quite surprised they have dolphins here. Oh, look at the size of this crab. There's like a person at the back for scale and look at the size of this crab. Okay, this is where the dolphins are. They are all the way at the back there. Why are they going upside down? All of them. This is a touching pool where you can touch the fish. They're touching the starfish. I've never touched a starfish before. What's the texture like? It's meant to be hard. This is dark and that one's very soft. Oh my god. Ooh. It's a bit, it's quite hard and quite rough. It's like something you used to scrub your face with. And that is a? Sea it's very soft. Yeah. The soft one is the bad one. <laughs> yep, nope. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. The, sea the, sea the sea cucumber was too soft. Anyway, I just discovered that the floor is like... There's another mini aquarium at the bottom. It is pretty spooky walking over this. I did not realise. And I want to wait for my friends to walk by and tell them that, you know, they're about to fall in water. Go forward. I, I was waiting for you to pass by. You were already in the water and you wanted to jump some more. Oh, that scares me, man. Dennis, look down. <laughs> Damn it, you were supposed to jump and go crazy. Okay, we are done with the aquarium and now we're going to head for lunch. Alright, we're here already, sessions. That's the root beer float and the food has arrived, we've got crab, um, fried chicken, fries, garlic prawn, squid, um, more crab and Giselle is like passed out. Oh there it is, we're going to the Adventure Cove water park now to play with some what is it race okay. right, that's the entrance of the uh, adventure cove water park yeah, that's the one we're going for ray bay oh i see the race those are the ones we're playing with okay i can still feel five fingers <laughs> you should try it oh you're breathing one they don't get them too excited Very excited. I hate it when two comes. They're very slimy. Lah. Okay, so we're just done feeding the rays and I had Danny help me record some videos. Uh, we're now gonna head to the hotel. Some of them have continued their journey into the water park, but we gotta create content. Hey guys, so it's almost 7 now. We're supposed to meet up downstairs and we're gonna go eat dinner at Forest, a modern Chinese restaurant. We are now at Hotel Michael and we just need to take one stop to Aquarius Hotel. Oh. 
This is for us? Oh yeah, it is hold the, for hold us. The and then shake Whoa, place. look at the kitchen, man. It's massive. It looks so professional. Look at the table set up. Okay, the starter has arrived. It's a cherry tomato dish. Okay, so this is the pan-seared French foie gras with mango salad and yuzu sauce. It's not meat, right? It's organ. So this is a Alaskan king crab meat soup braised with Hokkaido dried scallop and pumpkin. It smells so good. Okay, here we have the Australian lamb chop. It is charcoal grilled, marinated with lemongrass and cumin powder. So here we have the seafood Japanese pearl rice. It's wok fried with diced prawn, fish, crab meat, pine nuts. And there is signature homemade XO chili sauce. Smells amazing. So this is the dessert. It's called Forest Delight. It's pandan cake with vanilla ice cream, if I'm not mistaken. We're done with our meal, and now we're gonna head back to the hotel. It was a really good meal. I'll talk more about it in a bit. Back in my hotel room. What else am I doing? I'm editing and uploading right now. So I just wanted to take this time to quickly talk about the food we had just now. We started off with a really big piece of foie gras. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever had such a big piece. Usually it's cut up into smaller pieces. And then we had the Alaskan king crab soup, I think. That was really delicious. After that, we had the lamb. Now, I don't really eat much lamb, but this one was really great. It was so buttery soft. Then after that, we had this Fried rice, they use this kind of rice, it's the Japanese pearl, pearl rice, I think. And then we finished it with a really, really nice dessert. It was a pandan cake with vanilla ice cream and some crumbs, I think. So it was a really great meal overall. Not too filling, thankfully, because we've been eating a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much it for day two. I don't think I'm going to edit anymore. I'm so tired. I'm going to shower and... Yeah, call it a day. Tomorrow we have some free time and then a flight to catch back to go back to reality. So that's it for day two. I'll see you guys tomorrow.